Hello, my name is Chase Bragg, and welcome to It's Music 101. The problem I set out to solve with this project was one I experienced growing up as a band kid. Music classes are often underfunded and have limited resources. This becomes a problem when there is only one teacher trying to teach 40 or more students, with many of those students learning different instruments. This is a major burden for one teacher to handle alone. There are very few existing solutions for teachers to use to help teach their students. The three main tools I came across for helping musicians are Ultimate Guitar, Smart Music, and Stylus Driven Intelligent Tutoring System for Music Instruction. Ultimate Guitar is a well-known website used for helping students learn to play songs on guitar. It is not an intelligent tutoring system, but is definitely a good resource for students trying to learn how to play guitar. The website provides tabs to the user to help them learn to play a song. The website also provides a paid tool that will allow the user to adjust a tempo and have the song played along with them. The software called Smart Music allows teachers to assign music to practice and records the practice sessions for the teacher to evaluate. Smart Music has no intelligent aspect and is designed to be a simple practice tool. A stylus-driven intelligent tutoring system for music education instruction is an intelligent tutoring system with focused on learning the basics of music theory. The tool claims to emulate how a music teacher would approach the subject, giving proper feedback when necessary. For this project, I have proposed developing an intelligent tutoring system for teaching the foundational requirements needed for learning music. Due to the limited time frame, I chose to focus on learning to read music. The proposed tool would be used alongside of a music classroom. The completed content for It's Music 101 includes note lengths. This includes whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteen notes. Note values are also taught, ranging in values from C to B, including sharps and flats. All music taught in this application is taught in both treble clef and bass clef, for different types of instruments. Rhythms are taught. Uh, there are 13 pre-made patterns for students to practice with and be tested on. I have included 49 scales and uh, modes for students to also uh, learn in their uh, practices. The application also demonstrates note mapping mapping specifically between the notes on a music staff and the fretboard of a guitar. The application also includes an adjustable metronome for students to practice along with. Since my goal was to create an intelligent tutoring system, I expanded the application to include a small bit of intelligence. The application can store the current category that a student is on when exiting, contains a test mode that allows for user input. Input is then checked and feedback and a feedback message is displayed. The application can recommend a category displayed on startup based on the user's past experiences. The application will only recommend the next category when a student has completed 60% or more of their attempts on a given subject. This is an application I plan on continuing to develop once this class is over. Some of the future work I would like to include in It's Music 101 is adding multiple instruments, such as guitar, piano, clarinet, saxophone, and such. I also plan on adding more complicated rhythms, rhythms including 16th notes, 32nd notes, and triplets. I would like to include different time signatures. Currently, the app only supports 4-4, four, four, meaning four beats per measure. 
I would like to include things such as 3-4, 2-4, and many other time signatures. I would like to add simple songs to the application. I would also add to, like to add some more intelligence to the system as well, allowing the application to auto-generate sample rhythms for, for students to practice and sample note patterns. One big uh, improvement I would like to make is moving this to a mobile platform. That way it could be used in a music classroom on a student's phone or tablet or any uh, such devices. I would also like to add audio input and testing. Now it's time for a demonstration. When opening It's Music 101, you'll be presented with a screen. This screen will either welcome you to the application or display your past category and its recommended category based on your uh, progress. The first thing a student will do is select a category. These categories include note length, note value, rest types, rhythm patterns, scales, music keys, and note mapping. When you select a category, sometimes a subcategory will pop up here. And when it does, you can select between these. For instance, note lengths contains whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. Uh, let's demonstrate what they each look like. As you can see at the bottom of the window, there's some useful information for a student who's never encountered this sort of information before. Let's look at some of the other things. The application can uh, display note values. These are the basic values that the application will teach for now. There's higher and lower keys, but this is a good starting point for a student. The application will also, te also teach rest types. Like note lengths, there's whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. There will be multiple rhythm patterns for students to choose from. Nineteen, or thirteen to be correct, uh, patterns, each getting diffi uh, more difficult as they progress. Scales are another item that is taught. Uh, there are 49 scales included, including major, Dorian, Virgian, Lydian, Mixolydian, and such. Also, they can be played with multiple different bass notes. As you change the category, the scale dis uh, displayed is changed as well. Another category is music keys. Music keys are something used so the sheet of music doesn't need to have sharps and flats written out for every note they apply for. And as you scale through these, you'll see this is D here. As you see, it has two sharps. And those two lines are sharp for any time a music appears on those lines. And as you can see, that is done for several different uh, note values here. The last category is note mapping. This maps the notes on a music staff to a guitar fret. And as you can see, as I cycle through these notes, you can see where on the guitar fret they show up. Let, now let's look at the testing mode. We'll start with just uh, note lengths as a good example. When I move into testing notes, you see the subcategory removes the text values so that a user doesn't necessarily know what the values are they're being tested on. The user will then enter the different values that they uh, for each note. I'm going to miss one here just so that we can have a good demonstration of what happens when a student messes up. So I'm going to put a 16th note where the whole note should be. Now when I check my progress, I get a useful error saying that there was an incorrect value of 16th placed where a whole note should have been placed. Now as you can see, all the ones I got correct have been uh, disabled, so you can no longer enter those. 
students will then see have one single category where they can enter uh, a more correct value. Now this can be done with test mode works for both for note lengths, note values, rest types, rhythm patterns, and scales. It does not currently work for music keys and note mapping. Now I want to demonstrate what happens when we exit the application and reopen it now that it's been used. As you see, it says, welcome back to its music. And it's saying that my recommended category is note lengths. I have 0% mastery for that type because I missed my last uh, attempt. So it's recommending that that's where I continue. Another nice little feature for the application is a built-in metronome. And this metronome can be played at any beat entered by the user. This is just a useful little tool for helping a student practice to a given time frame. That about sums up what I have here for my application. I hope you've enjoyed It's Music 101.